Got him, fish. All right, just keep working and working and working the power switch. See this, there's that little tiny power switch right in the tip of his snout, and it's all about the retrieve. The bow is actually moving, and uh, and that's important because the bait's so versatile that I can can keep keep working even when I spun the boat back around to get back to my waypoint. So I'm just popping it horizontally as the boat's spinning around, and got another one. And that's the beauty of the power switch. I can do whatever I want with it right here. I've got it on a six pound, trying 100% fluorocarbon leader, and I've got it on eight pound X9 braid, and of course the Veritas PLX and, and, uh, and little Revo, but perfect little power switch getting them done. All right, so the whole key with the power switch is the versatility of the, of the deal, and I can fish it vertically or horizontally or anywhere in between. In this case, I'm throwing the smallest version of it, letting it go all the way to the bottom, and we're in, 21 feet of water, I'm letting it go all the way to the bottom. I know there's a pocket of fish back there, and so I might work it tip down and horizontally like this with a little scooch technique where it's just sort of scooting along just above the bottom and just keep popping it along and it'll dart a little bit each time. Conversely, I can also work it tip up with a single big lift and hold it tight and let it snake its way to the bottom or I can pop it up off the bottom and then follow it back down, just sort of guard it as it goes back to the bottom and go that route with it as well. The other thing is I can just drag it along and just literally straight drag it and it's just off the bottom because the resistance of the line and in so doing it just swims its way along but it's the versatility of the bait because it doesn't have any built-in action and it rides horizontally in the water column I can do whatever I want to do with it it's just very very versatile it works really good then with the active target because then I can gauge my fish and then tailor my lure presentation to it so and I'll just keep playing with it and trying different retrieves till I figure out the one that gets them to bite hence the term power switch you can switch them on with it power switch or really any kind of a, a jig obviously a lot of the time is figuring out the retrieve the difference between the power switch and a lot of jigs is you can do anything with it so unlike a say a soft swim bait which has a ton of built-in action in the tail or uh, a grub or a tube jig which has basically got a couple of key actions and that's it uh, this thing you can literally do got them you can do any of it with them